To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? All right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Mursad Bektik and Conor McGregor. All right, so here he is, folks. This fighter has been all the rage of late, but tonight what stands in front of him, a legitimate rivalry fight. He's been talking a lot of smack here during fight week. He does not like his opponent, and the same can be said reciprocally. His opponent doesn't like him either. Tonight, they close the octagon door behind him. This guy can keep a pace inside the octagon that is literally a shocking thing to behold. His opponent is in deep trouble if he comes into this fight out of shape. Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly, you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has incredible takedown defense. And of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Bektik is 29. McGregor is 31. He is one inch taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Merced the And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Ludwig. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? We are ready to go with round one here. All right, so the rivalry resumes here. Here we go with round one. And let's see who can get off to a good start here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process. But both guys have said, don't worry about my emotions. Once that octagon door closes, I will let my skills take over. Let's see how it goes here early, Joe. Effective use of the jab there by McGregor. All right, first round is underway. You know as a submission specialist, he doesn't want to hang out on the feet for too long. Of course, every round begins on the feet, but he's going to try to take this fighter down, get it to the canvas, and try to lock up one of his submissions. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Misses again with a right punch. Punch coming. It's blocked. Oh, 
has a so big that left, a hand. left hand. Oh, big left. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Tags him with a flush left. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. And he connects there. One, two. He has been landing that uppercut at an alarming rate. Yeah, no doubt about it, Joe. That uppercut is lethal. Trying to establish that jab once again. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Bechtel. Right there by Beck. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Back to side control. Under a minute now to go on the round. Nice reversal here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Nicely done. Punch is good. Huge shots raining down. And how much more can he take? You need to get out of there. Double oh, score. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ended. Wow, Joe Rogan. You know, we see fighters all the time go for a takedown late in the round, but you don't see that every day. The flush knockout just before the final horn. The referee wisely jumping in to stop the fight. Gorgeous technique and a great job to catch the other guy when maybe he was thinking about the end of the round. Now he doesn't see it. Instead, he's staring up at the bright lights. Watch this again here. Boom. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce gentlemen, Buffer with the official Angel decision. Ding. That's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Hunter McGregor. All right, so the rivalry fight lives up to the hype, and man, is that one happy winner right there as he celebrates with his coaches. He wanted this one in the worst way, and he gets it in a big way. Congratulations on winning this rivalry matchup here tonight.